Have you ever wondered how female hormones work and the impact they have on our bodies? In the intricate dance of life, hormones play a pivotal role. They're the body's tiny messengers, carrying crucial instructions from one set of cells to another. And for women, hormones like estrogen and progesterone are particularly important. They shape our bodies, influence our moods, and even play a role in our overall health. In today's video, we're delving deep into the fascinating world of female hormones. We'll be uncovering the top 10 facts about these potent chemicals. From the surprising role of testosterone in the female body to the stress-busting power of oxytocin, we're on a mission to demystify these powerful substances. So whether you're curious about the science or simply want to understand your body better, you're in for a treat. Ready to go on this informative journey? Then buckle up! Before we dive into the specifics, ever wondered what hormones actually are? Well, let's explore this together. Think of hormones as the body's secret whisperers. They are chemical messengers created by glands in the endocrine system that journey through our bloodstream to various tissues and organs. They're like little postmen delivering important information that influences almost every cell, organ and function of our bodies. Hormones play a critical role in our overall health and well-being, managing a wide range of bodily functions from our appetite and metabolism to our mood and stress levels. They regulate growth and development, sexual function, reproductive processes, and even how our bodies use and store energy. So in essence, hormones are integral to the smooth running of our bodies, ensuring everything works as it should. They are the silent conductors of the symphony that is the human body. Now that we've understood what hormones are, let's move on to our first hormone. The first hormone we're discussing today is estrogen. Now what exactly is estrogen? It is one of the primary female sex hormones, and it's produced mainly in the ovaries, with smaller amounts made in the adrenal glands and fat cells. Estrogen is like the conductor of an orchestra, orchestrating a symphony of functions within the female body. Among its many roles, it regulates the menstrual cycle, ensuring everything runs smoothly each month. It also controls the growth of the uterine lining during the first part of the cycle, preparing the body for potential pregnancy. But its job doesn't stop there. Estrogen also plays a key role in maintaining pregnancy. It helps the uterus grow, increases blood flow, and stimulates the development of breast milk producing glands. So estrogen is far more than just a hormone. It's a vital part of the intricate ballet that is women's reproductive health. So estrogen plays a vital role in a woman's reproductive health. Next on the list is progesterone. This is another vital hormone in the female body predominantly produced in the ovaries following ovulation. But what does progesterone do? Well, it's often dubbed the pregnancy hormone, and for good reason. It has a primary role in the female reproductive system, where it gets the uterus ready for pregnancy after an egg has been released during the ovulation process. It thickens the lining of the uterus to make it hospitable for a fertilized egg to implant and grow. But it doesn't stop there. Once a pregnancy is established, progesterone helps maintain it by nurturing the developing fetus and preparing the mother's body for breastfeeding. It's like the unsung hero of successful pregnancies. So, ladies, next time you hear the term progesterone, think of it as the nurturing hand, silently working behind the scenes to create and maintain life. Progesterone is essential for maintaining a healthy pregnancy. Yes, you heard it right, women do have testosterone. Now, testosterone might be widely recognized as a male hormone, but it's not exclusive to men. In women, it's produced primarily in the ovaries and adrenal glands. While the amounts may be smaller, it's just as important, playing a crucial role in health and well-being. Testosterone is something of a wonder hormone for women. It's associated with maintaining bone and muscle strength, helping to keep the body's framework robust and resilient. This hormone isn't just about physical strength, it's also linked to mental clarity, mood and energy levels. Moreover, it's vital for sexual health and libido, contributing to a healthy and satisfying love life. So ladies, when you're lifting weights at the gym or solving that tricky crossword puzzle, remember, it's not just about estrogen and progesterone. Though in smaller amounts, testosterone is just as important in women as in men. Ever heard of the love hormone? That's oxytocin for you. This hormone, often associated with feelings of love and trust, is a fascinating part of our biology. Produced in the brain's hypothalamus, it's then transported and released by the pituitary gland, an organ the size of a pea at the base of your brain. 
Oxytocin is sometimes called the bonding hormone because it plays a crucial role in social interactions. When we hug or kiss a loved one, oxytocin levels increase. It's also deeply involved in childbirth and breastfeeding, helping to strengthen the powerful bond between mother and child. But oxytocin's role extends beyond social bonding. It also has a hand in promoting trust, empathy, and even generosity. Studies have shown that people with higher levels of oxytocin are more likely to exhibit these behaviors. So, in essence, oxytocin is the hormone that strengthens social bonds and emotional attachment. Prolactin is another important hormone in women. Let's explore this fascinating hormone a bit more, shall we? Prolactin is primarily produced in the pituitary gland, which is located at the base of the brain. It's a bit of a multitasker, overseeing a variety of functions in the body. But its headline act, so to speak, is its role in breastfeeding. Here's how it works. After childbirth, prolactin levels surge, and this stimulates the mammary glands in a woman's breast to produce milk. It's essentially the director behind the scenes, calling the shots to ensure that milk production is ready to roll when the baby needs it. But that's not all. Prolactin also contributes to the regulation of the immune system and metabolism. It's a bit of an unsung hero, working quietly in the background to keep things running smoothly. And so we come full circle back to its starring role. Prolactin plays a crucial role in breastfeeding. Leptin, also known as the satiety hormone, is our next hormone. It's a fascinating one indeed. This hormone is produced predominantly by the adipose cells and enterocytes in the small intestine. Its primary function? Regulating energy balance in our bodies by inhibiting hunger. That's right, leptin sends signals to our brain, specifically to the hypothalamus, saying, hey, we're full, no more food, please. Now you may be thinking, well, that sounds like a great hormone to have around during a late night snack raid. And you'd be right. But it's not just about curbing those midnight cravings. Leptin plays a crucial role in managing our body weight and energy balance over the long term. It essentially helps our bodies to understand when we have enough stored energy to perform normal functions. This hormone is a vital part of the complex system that maintains our body's energy balance. So remember, leptin helps to regulate our body weight and energy balance. Insulin is a hormone you might have heard of in the context of diabetes, but don't be mistaken, it plays a crucial role in our bodies beyond just an association with the disease. It's a hormone produced by the pancreas, more specifically by its beta cells. Now, what does insulin do, you ask? Well, its primary function is to regulate the amount of glucose or sugar in our bloodstream. Think of insulin as a key. When we eat, our body breaks down carbohydrates into glucose. This glucose enters the bloodstream, but it needs to get inside our cells to be used as energy. That's where insulin comes in. It's the key that unlocks the cells, allowing glucose to enter and be used for energy. Without insulin, glucose would simply build up in our bloodstream, leading to high blood sugar levels. So you see, insulin is essential for maintaining stable blood sugar levels. Cortisol, also known as the stress hormone, is up next. Now you may be wondering why it's called the stress hormone. Well, it's quite simple. This hormone plays an incredibly crucial role in helping your body respond to stress. And where does this super hormone come from? It's produced by your adrenal glands, those tiny triangular-shaped glands that sit atop your kidneys. Cortisol has several key functions. Besides helping your body respond to stress, it also plays a part in regulating your body's use of proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. It helps maintain blood pressure and cardiovascular function, and it suppresses your immune system's inflammatory response. You see, when you're in a stressful situation, your body releases cortisol to help you manage and cope. It's like your body's built-in alarm system. But remember, while cortisol is essential, too much of it can lead to health issues. Cortisol helps us to deal with stressful situations. Thyroxine is a hormone that plays a key role in metabolism. But what exactly is thyroxine and where does it come from? Thyroxine, also known as T4, is a hormone that's produced and released by your thyroid a small butterfly-shaped gland located at the base of your neck. This little hormone has a huge job to do. It's essentially the conductor of your body's metabolic orchestra. Every cell in your body relies on thyroxine for regulation of its metabolism. That's right, every single one. It's like the pace car in a race, setting the speed at which your body's metabolic processes occur. From how quickly you burn calories and absorb nutrients, to how fast your heart beats, thyroxine is there, making sure everything is running smoothly and efficiently. 
but thyroxine doesn't work alone. It requires iodine to be produced, so a diet rich in iodine can help support your thyroid's production of this vital hormone. So remember, thyroxine is crucial for maintaining a healthy metabolism. Last but not least, we have melatonin. Melatonin, often referred to as the sleep hormone, is a vital part of our bodies. It's primarily produced in the pineal gland, a small P-shaped gland in the brain. However, it's also found in other areas, like the eyes, bone marrow, and gut. Now, melatonin's primary role is to regulate our sleep-wake cycle. It works in sync with our body's internal clock, rising in the evening as darkness falls to make us feel sleepy, and decreasing in the morning as light appears to help us wake up. This cycle is why it's crucial to maintain a regular sleep pattern. But melatonin is more than just a sleep regulator. It's a potent antioxidant that plays a part in maintaining eye health and boosting the immune system. It's even been linked to heart health, showing how diverse its roles are within the body. In essence, melatonin is the hormone that helps us to sleep. And there you have it, the top 10 facts about female hormones. We've journeyed through the fascinating world of hormones, from estrogen and progesterone, the key players in the female reproductive system, to testosterone, which although predominantly male, is also significant in women. We've discovered oxytocin, the hormone responsible for our deep emotional connections and bonding, prolactin and its crucial role in breastfeeding, leptin that helps regulate our body weight, and insulin, a vital hormone in the metabolism of carbohydrates, fats and proteins. We have also shed light on cortisol, our body's main stress hormone, thyroxine that regulates our metabolism, and finally melatonin, the hormone that controls our sleep and wake cycles. These hormones, each with their unique roles, collectively ensure the smooth functioning of our body. Remember, understanding your hormones is the first step towards maintaining a healthy body and mind. Until next time, stay healthy and informed. Hey there, before we wrap up this video, we want to hear from you. If you learned something new today, then please give this video a big thumbs up. We'd love to know which hormone fact surprised you the most, or if you have any additional interesting facts about hormones, just drop your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. By doing so, you'll be the first to know when we upload new content, and you won't miss out on any exciting facts and insights that we share. If you think this video could benefit your friends and family, don't hesitate to share it with them. After all, knowledge is power, and by sharing this video, you're helping to spread the power. Thanks for joining us on this hormonal journey today. Remember, your health and well-being are important, so stay informed and take care of yourself. Until our next video, stay curious and keep learning.